Hi everyone, this is Simcoe by Toys from Firefly Science. Today I'm pretty pumped up. We got some awesome cuvette accessories that we're going to show you how to use. So let's go ahead and jump right in. First we're going to start with our A20 cell mounts. So I have both here, the A20 standard A20 and the A20 ES. Now the difference between these two is the standard A20 has the spring here flat against the top. It's the spring you pull back right here and the A20ES, the ES stands for extended spring. So this spring is a little bit above the top. Move it up and close so we can see it right here. So it's easier to grab when you're grabbing the top. It's much easier to pull back. So we're gonna show you how to load both the 49 and the Type 20 cuvettes in these mounts. So let's start with the Type 20. Now, I didn't put a sample on this because we're just showing you how it goes in here. So, all you have to do is pull the spring back with one hand. It's much easier if you use a cell mount with it for this. And you gently slide it right down into the holder. And it's all set and ready to go. Okay, so we're gonna take out the Type 20 cuvette, which you just simply slide it right out of the holder. And the spring snaps right back into place. Put this aside. And here we have one of our Type 48 cuvettes. So this one we do the same process. This one you just wanna be careful because you wanna insert it into the side that has this opening here. So you can get the tubes in over the top. There we go, and we'll show you how to do that right now. So again, we're just gonna pull the spring back. Make sure the thumb's not in the way. And slide this guy right down into the holder, just like that. And you'll see the two tubes slide, stick right out the side here. And this is good to go in the spectrophotometer. So now we're gonna show you how to load the A20 ES cuvette mount into a spectrophotometer. So we have to make sure that the windows go in the direction of the optical beam. So we wanna make sure that we put this in the right way or it's gonna mess up the measurements. So for our machine, this is the way it goes in. And just push it till it's all the way down. And boom, it's all ready to go. So next we have our A23 cell mount. So this is for our type fluor fluorometer cuvette. And as you can see here, it has all four sides open. And very simple to insert the type 4 and all you have to do is put it right in the top and slide it down in and it is good to go. There's one note I wanted to point out about the A23 holder and this goes for the A24 holder as well which is built for our type 507s is that it has a hole in the bottom here so in case the cuvette gets stuck in there you could put something small like a paper clip and push the cell out the top. So let's go ahead and show you how this goes in the spectrophotometer. Okay so here we go. Now, since this has all four sides open, it really doesn't matter which way you put it into the spectrophotometer. This covers all Z dimensions of 8.5, 15, and 20 millimeters. So whichever direction you put it in is fine. So all you have to do is push it down, put it all the way down in. And what's nice, it has a little lip here so that even you push it all the way down, you can still grab it because it has a little lip right on the end here. So it's very easy to take back out. So it's very easy to pull back out. You just pull up on the little lip. And there you go. Here we have our L25 spacers. So what this does is it helps fill in the gap. If you have a small light path cuvette, like a one millimeter, two millimeter, five millimeter cuvette, what you, what you do with this, and we're gonna show in a minute, is you put it down into the spectrometer cell holder, and then you can insert the small light path cuvette and it'll stand straight up in the holder. So we have, these are size specific, so you have to get the right one for the size that you're using. Unlike the A20, which could you, you could use a one millimeter, two millimeter, or three millimeter cuvette in, this is size specific. So this one that we're gonna use here is built for a one millimeter cuvette. As you can see here, the part number is L, let me see if I can get it in here, oh, there we go. L25 LP1, which means the part number L25, and the light path is one millimeter. So we're gonna go ahead and use this with a one millimeter cuvette. Okay, so here we go. So we have our LP25 spacer, more or less to go. 
We just have to make sure that we put in the switch parameter correctly, and which means the two open windows go in the direction of the optical beam. So we just slide that right down into the cuvette holder right there. And there's just enough room for that one millimeter cuvette to go right here next to it. So we'll take over reliable type one UV one millimeter. And we'll go ahead and slide that right in. And you can see how perfectly that fits in there and it stands up nice and straight. This way your measurement is 100% accurate. If we didn't have the spacer, then it's not so simple to make sure that this is flat up against the holder or it could tip over. So to make sure that you get it 90 degrees and get it perfect, it's best to get one of these spacers and use one of these spacers or use the A20 cell mount. Alrighty, so next I want to show you a couple things here, uh, starting with this transfer pipette. This is really crucial to um, make sure that you don't spill any sample. A lot of people like to use beakers and graduated cylinders, but really this is the best thing to use when you're filling a cuvette. I mean, the opening in these are very tiny. You only have a 10 millimeter working area, so it's very easy to spill things and miss. So these are super easy to use. You just put it in there, squeeze the bubble, you get your sample, and you go ahead and fill up your cuvette. Okay, the accessory I actually wanted to show everyone is the mixer here. So this is just like a little plunger. It has little holes in it, so you could insert it down into the cell without splashing sample all over. And you just pump it up and down. And this makes sure that your sample is nice and mixed. Just take it out. And you're done. Now the last accessory I want to go over is our 527 quartz spacers. So what these do is they reduce the volume in a standard 10 millimeter cuvette. So you could use much less volume and still get the 10 millimeter light pad. So let me show you what I mean. I'll take a little bit of sample from over here. Just using a colored sample so you can see what this does. And you just put a little bit in the bottom of the cuvette. Just like that. And so you insert the quartz spacer. And it pushes the sample up the sides of the cuvette. So you can see now it's all blue in there. And the excess sample stays at the top so it doesn't leak all over on me. And you're all set to go with you to test your sample here. So, one more time, we'll show you how it goes in. Just slide it straight down in. And watch, the sample is right up to the top. Pretty cool, huh? Thanks again for checking out the video. If you guys liked the video, please hit us with the thumbs up button. And if you didn't like the video, hit us with the thumbs down button. If you have any questions or you want to see any other QVED accessories or how-tos, leave us a comment in the comment section below. And we'll see you next time.